Hi, my name is Rebecca and welcome to Yarn and Pajamas. Today is an episode of the Hooked on Wreaths Summer Edition collaboration that I'm doing with Lori over at Lori Hooks. And if you don't know Lori, I'll have her um, channel linked down below. So if you have never hung out with Lori, please go over and subscribe to her channel and show her some love because she is super awesome. But what we are doing is a collaboration that's going all year long. So it'll be um, um, within accordance with the seasons. So um, in the spring, which we are still in currently, we done a spring edition and done um, some beautiful wreaths that um, we had picked out. And I will link down below the playlist to go and view those if you've missed them or you're new here. Hi. Um, but this time we are doing the summer edition. So the first day of summer is I believe June the 21st. So we have um, three videos that we do per wreath. So today is the introduction video. And in two weeks we will have a follow-up video to show our progress and to talk about anything that um, we found like that's hindering us or that is pretty awesome. Um, I am outside today, so it may be a little um, traffic noisy. It is super hot here, so um, I didn't want to be upstairs with no AC or fans blowing. So yeah, so today I'm going to show you what wreath that I picked out to do for this summer wreath and show you all of the stuff here that I have to work on it with. Okay. So when I think about summer, I think about um, like sunshine and like um, like gardens and like things like in bloom, like like produce and succulents. I always think about succulents because you see them everywhere at the stores during the summertime and they're usually like a dollar a piece and I always feel like, oh, I need to buy those and then I eventually kill them when I do. But I always like them because they're just so cute and they're little pots and they're so tiny and just so pretty. So I thought I want to do a succulent wreath. Well, as I was perusing around on the interweb, I didn't really find a single pattern like for a summer wreath, a succulent wreath that I liked. But I did find some pictures of some wreaths that I can draw inspiration from. And I will start popping those pictures in here as I talk. So I thought that I could just go and find bunches of patterns of different succulents that I liked and then attach them to the wreath. And I don't know if I want to go like completely around the wreath or halfway. We'll see. We'll see. I don't know where I'm, I'm going with that yet. But I want to use like all kinds of shades of green and like pops of color here and there. It's just, I have it like envisioned in my mind and it's just going to be fabulous. So, I'm going to show you guys what products I have here to work on this with. The first thing I have is a wreath form and it is, I believe like a 12 inch. It says 11.7 inch, so it's almost a 12 inch. I thought I had the bigger one, but I didn't. But this was the biggest one that they had. So I did buy this one at Michael's, probably about five or six bucks, something like that. You can probably find them cheaper somewhere else. The um, Dollar Tree has like the teeny tiny ones. I think like a nine inch maybe or a six inch. But this is the one that I have. So next we're gonna talk about some yarns. So I'm not, this is the only um, purchase that I'm going to make for this wreath. I mean, period. I just, I didn't have a wreath form, so I had to um, buy something. But all of the patterns for the succulents I'm gonna to try to find are like either patterns I already own or free patterns from the interweb. So I'm gonna to try to not buy anything for this wreath so it can be a stash buster. So I did um, pick out like a bunch of different colors of yarn 
But the first color I want to show you is this pretty blue, and I believe this is like the light blue from Hobby Lobby. But that's what I'm going to color, color, cover my wreath form with. So I've never done one of those like um, covered bits, but I'm going to um, find me a free pattern online how to do it, and I'm going to cover it with this baby blue, light blue color because it looks like water or the sky i just feel like it would go like really well with a bunch of succulents so i did just try to pull out like as many greens as i could out of my um the scrap ball i didn't even get into uh like my totes of um yarns but i pulled out this is a um it's like a foresty green it's pretty dark um here is like an olivey green and then this is similar but it's a little bit darker it's like a maybe like an army green so those ones are pretty dark so I'll use those sparingly right have this um pretty light green color here i have this this is one of my favorite colors it's very neon and bright and this is a just yarn from the Dollar Tree, the premier Just Yarns. It's when it first came out, and I think it's called, it's called Vibrant Green. And then I brought some brown. I don't know why, but it's the Just Yarn Tweed, and I believe it's called Rust. Um, Because I don't think that any succulents are brown. But I thought I can get more greens as needed. And now I am going to be adding pops of Cutler. And I know that succulents probably don't come in these colors, but I want to add pops of like purples and bright blues and yellows and stuff. So I'm going to find like little ones that I can just add in and have them be just pops of color so that it looks very refreshing. That's what I'm going for. It's very refreshing. Um, I really like the, the succulents that um, tangle down what's um, my mama used to have some they were called string of pearls and I just loved them they looked like little peas on a rope and they were just so pretty and I'd like to make some of those so I'm really really super excited about this summertime wreath here um, wreath form. so yeah so, if you haven't um, went and checked out um, Lori's video, please go and check it out because um, she is got a cool concept for her um, summertime wreath, and I cannot wait to see it just all together. It's like we have this is like the concept season. Like we we know what we want, and we just we weren't finding it, so we're just gonna make it ourselves. So yeah. I'm super excited. I can't wait to come back in two weeks and show you guys my finished, um, uh, not finished product, but show you my progress on the wreath and talk some more about some things that I found. And hopefully I'll have like a bunch of like free patterns of succulents to share with you guys. So remember, if anybody wants to join along with us and make a summertime wreath, you can make one and um, email it and to me or Lori and we will share it when we um, do our reveal video where we show our finished wreath that way we can have like a, a wreath parade or something um, so that'll be a lot of fun and it doesn't have to be one that you make along with us it can be any wreath that you've made in the past that is like summer summer themed summer related so I would love to see any of your all's um, summertime wreaths. That would be lots and lots of fun. So yeah, let's have a wreath parade in the reveal um, video. So just send me and um, Lori your uh, finished wreath pictures and we will show them to everybody out there. Okay, everybody, that's all that I have for this introduction video. Please make sure you hop over and um, hang out with Lori and see what she's making. And remember, all of the links are going to be listed down below. I'm super excited to do this um, wreath, so I can't wait to see you guys in two weeks. Bye.